Hello students, today is something a little bit uh, new and special. We're going to not need our instruments today. We're going to do some rhythm exercises uh, and then specifically we're going to look at um, some uh, what I would call Indian subdivisions. These are a concept called Kankal that comes from uh, India. Now India is a very large country and there are essentially uh, two main separations of uh, culture, tradition, and music. Um, the southern part of India, which they call the Carnatic, and the northern part of India, which they call the Hindustani. So there's Hindustani tradition, that's northern uh, India, and Carnatic, that is southern India. And uh, I'm by no means an expert in this these musics, but I do have a, a long-held fascination for uh, musics of the world. There's so many different traditions and so many um, things that are quite different from what we typically practice uh, playing brass instruments or what we even listen to on the radio, unless you happen to be into some of these other musics. So we're going to look at some counting methods for subdivisions. A subdivision is, uh, well, if we think about music in general, we take a piece of music and we subdivide it maybe into sections, like phrases, right? So there's, the music itself is separated into phrases, and each of those phrases, we organize those into measures, uh, and each measure we organize into some sort of beat. And within the beat, we would generally call these subdivisions. So we're looking at ways of subdividing, and today is the Carnatic, the Southern Indian tradition of Konakal, which is the counting method for subdivisions of a beat. All right, that was a lot of information there to front load you with. But the counting method is pretty simple. For the downbeats, for a downbeat, we're going to use the syllable ta, T-A, ta. So we're just going to count, this is the easiest by far, we're just going to count four, uh, uh, I'm going to set my metronome here, here's my metronome, and I'm just going to say ta on the beat, ta, 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 ta. So that was two measures, or well, two measures of four, four that I counted, uh, just the downbeat. So that's a single syllable. The, uh, on the beat, we use the syllable ta. Okay. And the next one we're going to do, now we're going to kick it up a notch. And this would be something akin to eighth notes that we would perform. One and, one and. Well, we're going to try the Indian syllables today because this will allow it. There's some advantages to our system of the one and, and there's some advantages that we're going to see towards the end of the video of using these uh, Indian syllables. So for two syllables, for subdividing in two, we say ta ka. So there's ta for the downbeat and ka for the upbeat. Ta ka 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 ta. Pretty simple. Ta for downbeat, ka for the upbeat. I'm going to go ahead and start a new segment here. We're going to look at groups of three and then four, and then we're going to see what the real advantage is of learning these uh, Indian symbols, syllables, I should say. Okay, we've done groups of one, ta. We've done groups of two, ta, ka. Now we're going to do three. This is ta, ki, ta. Ta, ki, ta. Let's say that slow. Ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta. Now, if you're a more advanced student, you may notice these are kind of similar, uh, very similar to our uh, double tonguing and even triple tonguing. So it's, it kind of helps us also get our tongues moving nice and fast for some of this. So groups of three. Ta, ki, ta. Ta, ki, let's do it slow together. We'll do uh, four groups. Ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta. Try it with the metronome. So we got 
There's our tempo. Takita, 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 ta. All right, so that's groups of three. That might be pretty tricky for you. Um, before we go to the groups of four, let's just see how this can be really sophisticated and difficult. If I go from, let's say, four groups of two, remember that's ta ka, and then I go immediately into four groups of three, takita, that's like a measure of eighth notes and then a measure of triplets, but we're counting it a little bit differently here. We're just using these syllables. So let's try that with the metronome here. I'll try four counts of each. Ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta It's kind of hard to do or go back and forth. Ta ka ta ki ta ta ka ta ki ta ta ka ta ki ta ta Pretty tough, huh? Uh, and then the last one we're going to look at for our purposes is the groups of four. Like something akin to 16th notes. Uh, ta, ka, di, mi. Ta, ka, di, mi. Ta, ka, di, mi. Ta, ka, di, mi. Try that with the metronome. So, ta, ka, di, mi. 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 All right, so the, we now we have our groups of one, ta, groups of two, ta, ka, groups of three, ta, ki, ta, and groups of four, ta, ka, di, mi. Now we're going to start to try to string these together a little bit uh, in the following segments, and we're going to show you some kind of really advanced stuff that even I struggle with. Okay, in this segment, we're going to take little pauses between, but we're going to try each, uh, each of these syllables with my metronome here. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my video on how to use a metronome, because the metronome makes this, uh, you really do have to do this with a metronome, because it's quite tricky to go back and forth between the different rhythms. So we're going to do the one syllable, ta. So here's the metronome. Ta, ta. Ta, ta. Now let's do two syllables. Ta, ka, ta, ka, right? Ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka. Three syllables. Ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta. Ready? Ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta. Four syllables. Ta, ka, di, mi. Taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi. All right, so that was four groups of each. Now to kick this to the next level, we're going to take those pauses out. Now this is going to be tricky for you <laughs> if you haven't kind of gotten these syllables in your tongue, and even I don't have them that great in my tongue. But I'm going to try. I'm going to go from ones to twos to threes to fours. Okay, uh, so ta, taka, takita. Takadimi. I'm going to do four groups of each. So here's the metronome. Start with the ones. Ready? Go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka. Ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta. Ta, ka, di, mi, ta, ka, di, mi, ta, ka, di, mi, ta, ka, di, mi. Are you able to do that? <laughs> Let's try going backwards. We'll start with fours, then threes, then twos, and ones. So, taka dimi, takita, taka, ta. Four groups of each, all right? Get that tempo in our brain. So here's groups of four. Taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, takita, 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 taka, taka. Ta ka ta ka ta 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 ta. Harder than it looks, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. In the final segment, I'm just going to talk about how we can make turn these into really difficult, really sophisticated rhythms. Okay. So stay tuned, especially if you're an advanced student. We're going to see how we can use this uh, tool 
to figure out some really tough stuff. Okay, for the, the more advanced students, although, the, you know, folks that haven't been playing for long, this is still really good stuff. Start thinking about, what if we had five? We could, then there might be a whole new syllable system for five. And in fact, there some I think there is, but it doesn't have to be. Five can be made up of three plus, <laughs> three plus two, or it can be two plus three. So we could do five with the two, taka, and then the three, takita. So that would be taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, takita. Or we could do takita, taka. Takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, taka. Okay, and, and generally speaking, uh, well, there is another way to count these as well in this system. Uh, but this is a good way of, of grouping the twos and threes, which is something we see much more commonly, I think, in our Western music. Um, these complicated rhythms generally are some kind of grouping of two and three. Let's say seven. Seven could be three plus two plus two. That would equal seven. Or two plus three plus two is seven or two plus two plus three, uh, anything. And in Indian music, they go to, they have some very long <laughs> um, system, or long um, uh, series of beats and, and subdivisions and things that are, are quite complicated. So let's just take a look. At, uh, so again, if, if we're doing seven, for example, that would be takita, taka, taka. Takita, taka, taka. Takita taka taka. That's one way we could do it, or we could taka takita taka, or taka taka takita. Right? There's those three different ways, that at least that can, it can be done. But it could be split up in other ways. You could do taka dimi takita, right? Taka dimi takita, or takita taka dimi. There's a bunch of different ways that this can be performed or thought of. But let's just stick with the five for you advanced students because this is hard enough, okay? So remember, five, let's stick with, uh, we'll do three plus two. Takita, taka. Let's say that a couple times without the metronome. Now this would be a, a, akin to a quintuplet in our music. So if we saw a group of five notes all beamed together with a little five. That's a tuplet, a type of tuplet called a quintuplet for five. So, ta ki ta ta ka. Let's try a couple of those without the metronome. Ta ki ta ta ka, ta ki ta ta ka, ta ki ta ta ka. Yeah. Now, if we do this with the metronome, it's pretty hard. You get five even things in a beat, right? So there's our tempo. Takita, taka, takita, taka, takita. Ooh, I did it wrong, see? That's, that's good practice for me. Takita, taka, 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 ta. I didn't quite get that right either. This is great for me to practice my quintuplets. Takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, ta. Now, if I did, uh, I could. I can try to move back and forth. This is when it starts to get really difficult and really kind of fun and then challenging, right? Let's say I do uh, go from five, takita, taka, to three, takita. Let me see if I can do that. <laughs> Let's find out. Takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, 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 taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, taka, ta. I didn't do it perfectly, but you can see this is a wonderful method. It's fairly simple. I think easier than learning all the one and and the one triplet and all that crazy business. I think in, in many ways this uh, is vastly superior for learning extremely difficult things like quintuplets or septuplets, that sort of thing. So this is just a brief introduction. Uh, on our Wednesday follow-up, we'll definitely be going through 
each of these, try and getting them in our tongue, the taka taka or takita takita takita. It's easy to stumble on just the syllable. But the idea is just to be have those even patterns, those even subdivisions for every note. All right, we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye now.